plane, so I look awful. I'm in front of my friend's uh, Airbnb, so I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> but first, I just wanted to enter this vlog, say hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it's so warm here, it's so nice. Getting here from the airport was so easy. Everyone's been so nice so far. And I'm just really, really excited to be here. So I'm gonna go up and say hi to Jessica. Another beautiful day in Rome. I woke up here um, on our, the little guest bed. I'm so happy. We've been having so much fun. So yesterday, um, when I came in, I kind of just showered, like you know, took a little bit of a nap, just kind of chilled for a bit, um, you know, just when you get off the plane. And then I walked around. She is staying in the best location. It's just a couple, it's like right down the street from the Spanish Steps. So there's like the Fendi store right there and the H&M right there. So it's really cool. And when I was walking around, I think there was a Valentino fashion show or something going on because it was all blocked off. And there's a ton of people and like, nicely dressed up outfits and it was just really cool and then oh i went to the fendi store i went to the pharmacy i got some stuff oh and then we uh jessica just <laughs> made dinner which is really nice she just made some pasta and salad and um bread so <laughs> it was really nice to have this just like little home cooked meal um and then today i just got dressed so i'm wearing this like reformation dress the blue dress <laughs> and i just put my hair up and i'm going to use this bag today this is my little claire v bag i figured it's just i don't know kind of cute and i put my little this bow on it this is the dior bow that i got in paris so i just put that on here i figured it was kind of cute so today we're gonna walk around i'm going to see the Trevi Fountain for the first time. I cannot wait to see it. I'm like, I feel like <laughs> I'm just really excited. Um, we're also gonna go to a farmer's market and potentially have lunch. So it's just gonna be a really nice day. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for it.
Okay, hello guys. <laughs> I'm back at the apartment now. Jessica's in the corner watching me. <laughs> and we had a really nice day. So we went to the Trevi Fountain and it was just so nice to see. It was like huge, like even bigger than I thought that it was. And the water was so blue and just like the statues, it was so like historic and I was just really excited to see it. And then after that we went to a farmer's market. It was fun to see like all of the local produce and like the flowers and there was this guy that like helped us. He was so nice. He had us try all the different olive oils and all the balsamic vinegars and like limoncello stuff. So I brought all, I bought some stuff. I'm like, I'm glad that I left some room in my suitcase. So I'm going to bring all of that back. <laughs> um, and then after that, we went to a restaurant. It was called um, Osteria de Fortuna. I might, yeah, I might be pronouncing that wrong. But, um, but it was really good. We had pasta and I had some prosciutto and melon. And of course, now we're all spritz because you have to. Um, and then afterwards we saw the Pantheon. So that's the update. It was really fun. I'm loving Rome so far. It's just such a nice city. I feel like everyone here is so nice and I love seeing like the people, like the Romans like speaking to each other and stuff. So I have a really big surprise <laughs> to show you. This was totally unexpected for me. I was not planning to buy this, but as you guys know, <laughs> yeah, Jessica was an influence on this. But as you guys know, when I travel, I tend to be in this spirit of like more likely to spend money basically versus when I'm just like at home, I'm like, there's nothing special about this versus when I travel, I feel like, oh, I'm in a new city, I'm traveling, like la di da, say la vie, and then I'm more likely to buy something. So we went into the store. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is the YSL store. So first, I just have to say, I know that I am in Italy. So my first thought was, okay, let me look for something from an actual Italian designer, like um, Fendi, Prada, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, something like that. Um, I went into the Fendi. There were a lot of things that I liked, but I just didn't have my heart set on anything. But when we, on our way back today, stopped at the St. Laurent store, the YSL, um, there was a bag that really caught my eye because when I was in Paris, there were a ton of girls that had this bag and they always had it just like sitting on the table, like when they're eating like their lunch at their cafe or whatever. And I was like, I just want to be one of those girls. So when I saw this bag and it's actually, it's actually a really good price. I'm making it out like this is a huge purchase. I mean, it kind of is cause it's a designer, but like as far as designer bags go, this is actually at a really low end, lower end price. So I'm gonna do an unboxing with you. <laughs> We're just like chilling right now before we head back out. So we just put some comfy clothes on. But, oh my goodness. Okay, I need to lower this so that you can see. But, dun, dun, dun. everything is black, which is funny for me because like you guys know, I don't really wear that color. I'm actually really, really excited about this. I hope that you like it, but it's one of these bags. So yeah, it's just a really simple, like under the shoulder kind of bag, which I feel like is kind of coming back right now, but I saw so many French girls with this bag. Um, so it just, it kind of has the logo in the front. Of course I went with like a neutral tone. So this was the only beige color that they had. It's almost a little bit gray, which I felt like was good also for like the winter time too. But um, but yeah, so I got this and I like it because it just has the logo here in the front and then you can just kind of do that. And it has enough space inside for my camera, which is um, something I checked. That's really important to me. And it's like a really kind of fuzzy, soft, um, I think suede on the inside. And it has a zipper and it smells like a new bag. <laughs> so yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, so the reason I'm doing the unboxing now is because I was like, wait, I want to use this bag tonight, but I need to show you guys first. So yes, here's the bag. And I'm just going to, Jessica and I are going to head to, wait, what's the name of it? 
Misty. I know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Um, it begins with a T. We're going to a really cute little neighborhood. This just like nice to walk around at night. Although I hope it's safe. It is. Okay, <laughs> it's safe. As soon as those words came out of my mouth, I'm like, two girls walking alone at night with designer bags. <laughs> like, are we good? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna wear this dress and do a little bag with it. I think it's gonna be adorable. And we're gonna have a nice night. <laughs> feels just like the morning that I woke up early in Paris and I went to go take the photos because that's what I'm doing <laughs> so it's 6 something a.m. I think it's like 6 30 a.m. oh it might be like almost 7 by this point I need to I haven't checked my clock but I got up early put on a cute outfit so that I could get good pictures before everything becomes super crowded 
um, just because, you know, I love to get artistic and creative and I love the creative process of creating the photos. I mean, there's a ton of people there, so, that, so much so that you can't walk. It's really hard to get a good photo, so um, yeah, that's why I'm gonna go now. Waking up early is also a tough part of it because uh, last night, you know, we did just want to, um, like we did go to bed a little bit later just because, um, you know, we were out. We weren't out, out. We went to aperitivo hour that ended up being a much later <laughs> than a normal aperitivo hour. We went to this rooftop at um, Hotel Eden and it was like the Il Giorno kind of rooftop, so that was really nice. I'll put some pictures on the screen of um, what it looked like. We just kind of sat by the window and enjoyed a uh, drink and some like chips and nuts and olives. I don't like olives, but. All right, so I'm walking the correct way now. That's what I was saying, was that um, yesterday I, we, we, uh, we went to kind of like a little bit of a wine tour in Tuscany. I've done a Tuscany wine tour before. This was a little bit more about seeing the towns and then just like drinking wine rather than visiting the vineyards because it is very far to get there from Rome. So, but uh, you know, what we did was we went down, we uh, went, visited Montepulciano, which is a town up on a hill, very, very historic. The families that have been there for generations. Wish me luck, let's hope that the traffic fountain isn't too crowded. I'm sure that it's already got a lot of people. I could have come even earlier, but sometimes when I do these little morning wake up things, it's like, it's, uh, it's really pushing myself out of my comfort zone, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's already so many people. But the light is much more beautiful. I'm like so used to it. completely a fail but there was still it was still like completely crowded I don't think there's really a time when you can go and there would just be no one there but the reason why I didn't stay longer was because I forgot my little attachment thing that goes on the top that holds my phone <laughs> so I can't even take any pictures without it I tried to like balance it on something but it just wasn't working so um, yeah so <laughs> I need to go back and get that and I'm thinking that maybe instead of the Trevi fountain, I'd actually just use this outfit for something else. And then try to come back a little earlier and do the Trevi fountain another morning. Because I have so many other times. So um, yeah, I figure for right now, I'm gonna go get my little clip thing and um, try to take some more photos. <laughs> Instagram account and TikTok, oh, and I'm like her you. biggest fan. <laughs> and I ran into her, so I just yeah, wanted to show Now we're in Rome together, <laughs> yes. walking, discovering the sea too. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day, so. Wow. Oh my gosh, 
gosh okay so this is the most like one of the most magical moments so I'm, I'm in front of the Coliseum the girl that I just introduced you to is my favorite well I have a lot of favorites I'll just say but she is like up there in like top five absolute favorites she is like my Paris inspiration her name is Karina and when I first got here on Friday I ran into her just like just got there and like she had just gotten there too and I walked up to her and like are you Karina and she was like yes and we like had a conversation and I was like wow that's so cool I can't believe I ran into her I'm so happy I'm so excited and then I she posted on her stories yesterday like any girls in Rome want to go to a museum tomorrow and I was like me <laughs> and then I like we didn't like she didn't like reply it was like I'm sure so many people like replied to her and then today I was walking and I ran into her again I was like this is this has to be absolute fate because like how crazy is that but it just like I told her I was like this completely made my trip running into you because I just feel like I don't know I feel like I share so much in common with her even though she like doesn't know who I am at all um, and so it just really 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 made this trip so special to me I feel like that maybe that's creepy I hope that it's not but I just really I just was really happy about it so anyways yeah I ran into her and I'm really happy and we walked the whole way here and we got to have a conversation and it was just so nice I'm like I'm just I, I feel like I won the lottery or something <laughs> But yeah, so I wasn't planning to come to the Coliseum, but now that I'm here, um, I'm like, maybe I'll just kind of look around. So I'm just gonna go check it out. But yeah, oh my
can't believe how beautiful it is, how much work went into it, how dedicated the artists were. Michelangelo, I mean, he literally did his self-portrait of like just his skin because he was like, I gave my everything to this. And uh, so yeah, so I went to, basically, I went to the Vatican, the, uh, I saw the Sistine Chapel. You can't really take photos in there. People were though, I was trying to be respectful and then I was like, well, everyone's kind of doing it. So I got a quick little video um, <laughs> of it. Hopefully I would have inserted that. And then I went to St. Peter's Basilica. I went all the way up to the top. There were so many stairs. I was out of breath, but I was like, honestly, this is good because I've been eating so much pasta and gelato. So yeah, so I did that. And then afterwards, I was like, I need to rest. So I went to this restaurant called, it was like Zan, Zan Lazara. It was really good. I sat at the bar by myself, had a salad, and um, after my meal I finished it with an espresso, which I feel like is the Italian thing to do. As you guys might know, I'm not a coffee drinker at all, but I kind of feel like when I'm in Italy, I, I am a coffee drinker, because you just have to do as they do, you know? I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm like that. I like to not be like, you know, I need to check my phone and see where I'm going, but I like to not be like, oh, I'm American, I'm gonna do things this way. I like to kind of see like, how do they do things and understand a bit better. <laughs> so, yeah, um, but right now I'm just walking. I tried to figure out the bus system, but uh, the bus like ticket thing was broken. So I figured I'm gonna save that for another day. It's about a 25 minute walk, so I figured I'd just walk it. It's fine. Um, so I'm gonna go back, change, and probably just do a little bit of shopping depending on if the stores are still open. <laughs> show you my little look we are going to go to this like rooftop bar nearby um, her apartment we just discovered it the other night when we were coming home when we thought that we should come back and try to go to it so we're gonna do that tonight I just finished doing my hair and makeup so earlier I went to Zara and I picked out this outfit because I just felt like I didn't really bring in like cute outfits for this I thought so much about the daytime I didn't really think about nighttime outfits as much and so um, this is like a little skirt. I just got it from Zara. Well, it's a skirt. It's like shorts in the back and a little skirt, mini skirt in the front. It's so cute. And I just found this like white asymmetrical crop top. Um, yeah. And then I just curled my hair with my straightener and I used this, uh, what's the brand? I'll link it. <laughs> this lipstick. It's like a lipstick and blush combo. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think we're gonna go to the rooftop and potentially, if not, just sit on the Spanish steps, drink, just enjoy, be like Romans. <laughs> and uh, yay!
day. We woke up this morning and we went to brunch, actually more like lunch, um, at this place called the Le Jardin at this Hotel Rocco. I'll put the exact name of it. But yeah, it was, it was really lovely. I had a clam pasta and it was just so relaxing to sit outside and just be in the garden. It was beautiful. It's like the, uh, basically at a five-star hotel in like the back so it was just so nice and i wore a really cute outfit and i've been taking lots of videos for my like my instagram i wore these really cute shorts from zimmerman the only thing they are linen so when i sit down they do get wrinkled but you know i still think that they're really cute i love the belt how it like matches it comes with the belt and um how it has like the floral here and all of the little details even on the buttons it's just so well made so i really love it and then i had a bit of a not a disaster but just some uh, uh not very lucky moment where i was looking at my credit card statement and i noticed that there was there was some fraudulent activity on there some payments in large sums that i definitely did not make so I called my credit card company and they're going to get it sorted out. They said they'd email me back in the next 24 hours once they investigate it. So I'm really hoping that they'll pay me back for that. Um, but it just stressed me out a little bit because I don't know, it's kind of scary when those things happen and you just think like, oh, you know, you don't want your money just taken from you, obviously. So that was a little bit stressful. So I kind of came back, dealt with that. I was like on the phone for a while. So, um, yeah, so I got that figured out. I just wanted to say that because um, I feel like that's the reality of, of traveling sometimes is that, yes, everything is so <laughs> beautiful and fun and nice, but there are things that happen. And so I just spent the last like hour figuring all of that out. Um, but I'm trying to not think about it now and just enjoy myself. I'm in Rome, so I told myself I cannot <laughs> just sit here. Oh, I love this window. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and I'm just going to walk around do a little bit of shopping But I'm a little bit apprehensive of buying stuff now that I can't like use my credit card I have to use a different one that I have that like I don't use anymore So I hope they don't have any issues But Whatever like I said, I'm not gonna think about it, but how cool is this? So I hope I don't drop my camera. Hold on. Let me put I have this little wrist thing Hang on. Let me put it on that just in case but right down there, actually right there, is the Fendi store. I'm gonna go enjoy Rome, walk around, and look at some shops, my favorite thing. <laughs> Borghese Museum, Borghese, and 
that it's right in this beautiful park, which actually someone told me about over Instagram that uh, they DM'd me and said that I would love this park, that it's supposed to be really beautiful and have gardens and everything. Today, the taxis are on strike, so I was originally going to take a taxi over here, but I couldn't do that, so I took this <laughs> Lime scooter. I uh, just figured it was going to be a 30 minute walk. It was only gonna be 12 minutes with the scooter. I could have done the bus. I tried to figure that out the other day and I just couldn't. It also looked like it was all delayed and the Uber was going to be like twice as much. So I was like, you know, let me just try it out. <laughs> and it was actually really fun and it was fun. Jessica and I also did these last night. We just roamed around the streets of Rome. It's a lot easier at night because there's no people around and fewer cars. So you just kind of was around and it's totally fine. It was actually really fun. So um, I think we're gonna take them tonight to the Coliseum. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go into the park, enjoy the beautiful park, and then go into the museum. nighttime now I'm here with Jessica and we are on scooters again another scooter adventure the taxis are still on strike so we wanted to go see the Coliseum at night so we just came down here it's so crazy to me that we're just casually flying by like gazillion year old your old ruins like you can see right there not gazillion but you know I mean it's just it's so beautiful. We don't have stuff like this in the U.S. because it wasn't, I guess, built that long ago. Um, but I just really appreciate the beauty of a city like this and the history. And I have so much respect for it. So, yeah. Anyways, we're just going to ride down to the Coliseum. We brought a bottle of champagne. Jessica has it in her bag. And yeah.
I really like it so far. I bought a hat and some sunglasses. Jessica helps me pick them out. She's my stylist. Yeah, this is the blonde Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that maybe the white glasses would be cute, but then we realized that it was very kind of stark, like harsh. And then we went for this. But anyways, okay, enough about that. I feel it's very, very sunny here, so I needed to be blocked from the sun. Lemon dress. We just had lunch at a place that, um, that was very, very good. It was recommended. So we're just gonna explore. We might go on a gondola. We've been on the water already. And that's the update.
Jessica is in the bathroom. If you can hear the shower going, we both just showered. It is so hot here, um, but in a good way. It's summertime, so you know. Um, but I'm basically getting to the end of the vlog now. I'm very sad that this is the end of this trip. It's been such a summer dream. It's been so great to just be totally checked out of work for an extended period of time. I felt like it was really just a reset for me and really nice to have new experiences and to really get to know Rome and Italy better and just take myself out of my every day. Um, every time I come to Europe, I find so many things about it that I absolutely love and it just opens up my mind to different ways of doing things and just different ways of living and it really really kind of inspires me like different ways that I can change my life. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here I don't know how much you can you can hear that sound hold on. Okay so <laughs> I'm over here now but um yeah, basically, I'm sad to be ending the vlog. I'm sad to go back to reality of my work. <laughs> but um, I just am so, so grateful for this experience. And I will I'll try to come back. I really love to hear. Um, I'm sure this vlog is very long. So if you've made it to the end, <sighs> thank you so much. For watching this far and leave the secret word gelato in your comment of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram I'm gonna try to post a little bit more there try to do some more reels and stuff cuz I kind of did it a little bit more while I was here and um, if you want to see those, actually, I think that they came out pretty good. So head over to the Fashion Squirrel um, to see a little bit more. But uh, yes, thank you guys so much. And hopefully I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.